thank everybody for coming in on this fine day. First thing up, I hope everyone had a chance to review the minutes. I'm sure they did. Motion to move by legislator to hold. Second by legislator Martino. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Minutes are approved. And the first item up is IT1, which is the resolution authorizing budgetary modification Department of Solid Waste for the Composting and Feasibility Study Grant. Move it. Second. Uh, first by Legislator Martino, second by Legislator Twist. Is there any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, carries. IT2, a resolution awarding professional services contract engineering services, composting feasibility study. Move it. Second. First by Legislator Martino, second by Legislator Holst. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Hearing none. I have one. Question. Oh, you have a question? Is it going to stink? It's going to stink more than it already does. Really? <laughs> because I'll get a phone call. This is just a feasibility study. Oh, well. Wow. Determine. You then, yeah. okay. I got time to think about it. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? IT3, I'm sure everyone had a chance to review that, which is accepting the an FAA grant establishing capital project number A0120 to rehabilitate runway 624 in the design phase at the Oswego County Airport. Anyone have a chance? First by Legislator Martino, second by Legislator Lockwood. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none. T3 carries. Next we have the first bid, bid reports. And we have OSW 017-20 corrugated steel decking for the cemetery bridge. And everyone's got that in front. Okay, the low bidder is Pardon? Understand. Is there anything you want to say on this, Kurt? Uh, just that the reason we're not going with the low bid is we're going to go with U.S. bridge because Understood. So we're looking to award. Make a motion to accept the bid for U.S. Bridge due to time frame constraints. Second. I'm sorry. First by Legislator Martino. Second by Legislator Holst. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none. That is awarded. Bid number two. Same sheet. What's that? That's in the packet. It's oh, in the packet. They just don't have that. Oh, part. I got you. Uh, this is for the airport drive sewer line and pump station. And you guys, I believe, have the actual bit, which is. Yep. The recommended action. Well, I didn't go ahead and mark them. It's a little bitter here. I Pump State Companies for 231, 231, 500. 231, 5. Thank you, Legislator Martino. Looking to award to Upstate Companies in the amount of $231,500. First by Legislator Holst, second by Legislator Twist. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Carries. And we have that was bid number two. Is that it? That's it, right for the bid? Understand. The uh I may have one thing on here for discussion. 
that is in the past we know we spoke about West Fifth Street Road about the county potentially taking over the section of West Fifth Street Road which I believe is like 2.2 miles and it entails three uh, three different townships it entails Minetto, Oswego Town as well as Granby and one of the major reasons we were looking to do this is because there's been so many issues over the years regarding the 911 addresses, everyone's mailing addresses because in the city of Oswego, as we all know, went from West Fifth Street Road to County Route 25 to once it hits Furnace Station Road, right? And then it turns back into West Fifth Street Road. This has created a number of issues for the people living in this area and it's been going on for years. Anyway, to sum it up, we were looking, they were looking for the county to kind of take it over. At the time we first looked at it, it, it really wouldn't be too smart for us to just take it over, go in, put all this money into it, and then pay somebody $8,000 per mile. So upon meeting with different ones, discussing it, I know uh, Legislator Greco had a lot to do with it. He's been meeting with the towns as well. And just giving you a heads up of kind of where we're at on this, with the discussion was we're looking to if the county does in fact this is where Richie will come in because I want to know if we can actually do something like this if the county does in fact take it over most of the the asphalt and everything in this area and the culvert pipes are in very good condition there's one small section that's in poor condition but if we do take it over in time it's going to cost some money to bring it up it's something that we can do slowly but it will cost some money to bring it up to the county specs. And in turn, if they, if we did that and they turn these roads over to the county, is it possible, Richie may be able to answer this now, is it possible that we, if they agree to it, we would not pay them to maintain those roads because they already have been doing them for years as part of their town roads. And where this benefits both parties, is in the future they would never have to worry about paving or maintaining it on that aspect and this way if they mow it if they keep it mowed and keep the snow removed on it just as if it were a town road and we don't pay you know we kind of we're both putting something in here that helps resolve the question here it helps the structure the mowing and the plowing contracts so that it's not chargeable if they're given to that there's more than one town there so right. I don't know how that would work at all through one town or yeah. the following or the mowing. Just the uh, same as they've always done it. It's well, each, done. each of them verbally, we kind of agreed and they kind of get, because it's kind of a little give and take and in turn, those two plus miles of road. Once we own it or control it, we have a non delegable duty for maintenance and upkeep. So Correct. if they didn't want to do it for zero money, 10 years from now, we kind of get a follow up road, maintain the road. We can't escape that. There's no way we could do like a 99 year contract with them on it. No, it's, it's either a county road or it's not a county road. Right. If it's county road, we have the design, the signage, the thing plus the line of well, I mean, as far as the, the signage, the pavement, and the culverts and whatnot, that would be the county. The county would do that. It's just the and problem. in turn, it's just the snow removal and mowing that the towns would and, be and responsible for. If they decided not to do that at some point in the future, it would fall back on the county. Right. Uh, not There's no way to. Uh, no, I mean, you can certainly come to an agreement that they, as long as they want to, that's fine. But right. if they don't, or they don't do it well, we've got the exposure. So if uh, the city town says we're not going to plow this this year, county has to plow it. Or it would kind of be we would be out on a limb, I guess. Right, because the county's obligations to the public who uses its roads. So. Right. I understand, Kurt. I guess a question for you, Richie. With the snow and ice contracts that you have now, most of them are pretty much all the same. Those two contracts, could you change them, write that into that contract that they signed for the three years so that we yeah. know at least three years down the road that we're covered? We do it on, well, that on the mowing. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the culverts, for example, we've got the culverts on the bridges on our roads anyway. 
probably going to take care of that so anyway. We, if they agree to it, we can do it. But if we take it over, they don't. Or they change your mind. Right. Out of well, the, as long as it's in the contract as yeah. they go, so it would be but something. The town board can say, no, why are we doing this for, you know, for the benefit of the county? Right. We're going to stop. And then the county's going to pick up the two miles. It's just right. better. Yeah. It, it's okay, fair. So it, it's a minimal amount. It, yeah. it, it really is. I, I just don't want you to, you know, go down a criminal path and get that chips. Right. No, I just wanted, I'm trying to come up with a mutual way where both people have something, yeah. they've got some skin in the game, and it can resolve the issues that they have. There was some discussion about abandoning another road, but, um, you know, whatever you guys want to do, we can take it over, we can structure the contracts so that the mowing and the plowing is free by the towns uh, as long as they agree to it. Right. And then, you know, if they change their mind on that, either have to pay them or plow it ourselves. So Understood. basically, in order to do this, we'll have to have somehow sign something altering the current contract that we have to, for all three towns. Well, first, we have to acquire the road, yes. All right, once the road is acquired. Because in the long term, and I know because it's such a, a minimal amount of road, I know we're going to pay, we would pick up the chips money on that because we would get some of our money back and turn, you know, towards the bringing it up to specs and whatnot. I mean, that being said, in the long run, I mean, both the feedback that I got from the towns were taking two miles of road and dividing it by three is so minimal. They, it's, it's easier for them to do that than it does getting to their other roads. So it's really not, it, was, it wasn't an issue, but I see what you're saying on the legal standpoint. Yeah, we're, right, right. It's not delegable from a legal standpoint. The county owns it, the county has to maintain it. How the county chooses to meet that obligation, they want to do it for free, that's fine. They decide no, we want to be big or don't want to do it, then we've got to do it. And we've already obtained someone to maintain 25 from the city line uh, for a station, I imagine. I don't think we're following that ourselves. Right. Following it. Well, it, I don't know what town's doing that. Right. Uh, I don't, I don't uh, we were just trying to make everything where both parties had a little skin in the game. And they, what makes this road different than the others, I know some other towns have asked us to take over roads, and it was just a money pit to take us. I know in Pulaski and some different places they wanted to take over stuff. This here, there's actually something behind it dealing with uh, the issues that have been going on for years. That's the only reason yeah, we're really Now concerned. the silver movement's been pretty decent, but years past, there have been some times where certain towns have not plowed as much as Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I would get Kurt's feedback before we thought of doing anything anyway. I mean, if he was comfortable with it, we'll see. But. So the next step would be for the town boards uh, involved to authorize the deed to quit claiming the road to the county, and then the county would accept that, and then we put that in the jury, and then we amend the contracts as needed for the following. See, what was asked of me is what exactly they need to do. So if I could get something from you just stating what yeah. we need from them, yeah. and then I can pass that information off to them. Because I do think it will benefit them out there quite a bit. And we would, we would want to take it if only the half road. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because that's the way some of it works out. Literally half of the road is in one township, half is in the other. And paperwork-wise, it's going to it'll, it'll help simplify things. But... I know Bob's out from that next over the neck of the woods. He's familiar with it. I don't know if you've heard anything on the uh, the whole Fifth Street road. I know that issue has been going on for years with people's mail. Yeah, I haven't heard anything recently, but I know years ago it was an issue. Right. So. I think okay. their supervisor just quit. Didn't In Minetto, yes. Yeah. 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 He just quit. I, I spoke to both of them. I actually talked to one guy and the other guy, and I think that was one of the couple things they agreed on. <laughs> But, uh, he quit over this issue. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I think there was a couple others. But, uh, all right, then. Uh, if I, when I get that information from you, I'll relay it again through uh, Mark, and we'll be speaking with their towns and uh, we'll see what we can do about potentially. Okay. And we will uh, we'll go that direction. And once we get something a little further from them, then the request, and then we'll bring it back to committee for approval. All right, any other questions from anybody? Looking for the appropriate motion. Executive session. Oh, okay. Executive session. Oh, we got a second. Oh, another page here. Executive session. Second that motion. I understand. Looking for a. Let's discuss the acquisition of property where the price would be effective to be public and then a little less on the agenda. What do you
you said. Understand. So a motion to uh, what Richie said to go into executive session based on the Ready Land acquisition.